Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here, and today we are going to look at the use and history of the Easy Curl Bar. The Easy Curl Bar is synonymous with the Golden Era and arm training, and judging from the ads in the old school muscle mags, it's not hard to see why. Seeing pictures of Arnold Schwarzenegger combining the arm blaster with the Easy Curl Bar quickly allowed the Easy Curl Bar to be associated with arm training in the eyes of the young aspiring bodybuilder at the time. The story of the Easy Bar though goes further back than the golden era. In the late 1940s, an engineer who trained with weights began tinkering with an idea that would eventually revolutionize arm training altogether, although his initial idea was to make the barbell curl easier on the wrists. The problem he faced was that he could not do two-handed barbell curls with enough heavy weight while using a straight bar without experiencing pain in his wrists. So as they say, necessity is the mother of invention. So he began forming his own piece of apparatus that would compensate for this discomfort. And on June 11th, 1948, Louis George Dimmock of Williamsport, Pennsylvania, applied for a patent for what he called the Dimmock Curling Bar. Today, this type of weight training bar is of course very common and found in nearly every single gym in the world. It is nothing more than a one inch diameter bar, four feet in length with several bends. While a cambered long bar for squatting had already been invented and marketed for many years by such lifters as William Pollum of Great Britain specifically for the 20 rep squat, Dimmock was the first to focus on a shorter version exclusively designed for arm training. Initially he began manufacturing his new invention by himself. He would bend the bars, have them nickel plated and package them up in his kitchen. He originally set out to sell his new Dimmock curling bar through Iron Man magazine in 1949 and the ad promised, quote, this new curling bar will give you the biggest arms you have ever dreamed of, quicker than any other system in the world. The scientific construction of this new curling bar provides such a natural manner of gripping that it entirely eliminates all curling difficulties. This new bar makes curling so effective that you can use 20 to 30 pounds more than with a straight bar. Because the exercise value with this bar is so greatly improved, it will unquestionably result in faster development and will add more bulk to the upper arm." End quote. It went on to describe the bar as nickel plated, 12 pounds in weight, 1 and 1 16th inches in diameter, 48 inches in length, and complete with four collars. Fully guaranteed, of course. He was granted a patent for his Dimmock curling bar on May 23rd, 1950. Later, after he moved to Albuquerque, New Mexico, he teamed up with Andy Jackson of the Jackson Barbell Company. It was then advertised and sold as the Dimmick Jackson Curl Bar from 1952 to 1954, and later on, from 1954 to 1964, it was sold as the Jackson Curl Bar. Finally, in 1964, he sold the patent rights to York Barbell Company when it became known as the Easy Curl Bar. Wader came out with his own version soon after, as did many of the other budding bodybuilding companies during the golden era, all promising insane pumps and arm growth. Specifically used for arm training, the Easy Curl Bar is especially useful for preventing wrist pain in arm training, which was its original purpose and why it was invented. Whether you are blasting biceps or terrorizing your triceps, the Easy Curl Bar places the arm in a semi supinated position that is closer to its natural and neutral anatomical position. This also allows for maximum poundage to be used as the joints are in their natural and more powerful anatomical position without risking injury to the associated joints of the upper and lower arm, namely the wrists and of course the elbows. The most common and effective exercises performed using the Easy Curl Bar include curling motions done standing or seated on a preacher curl bench with the latter options made more famous of course by Larry Scott. 
Likewise, the arm joints are placed in a safer and stronger position when performing triceps exercises, such as triceps extensions, close grip bench presses, and triceps pullovers using the easy curl bar. Again, variations such as lying, seated, or standing positions ensured plenty of variation in these exercises exploited by the golden era legends. Finally, the easy curl bar can also be used in exercises that develop the forearm and in particular, reverse curls using the easy curl bar were popular during the golden era performed standing or on the preacher curl bench. Combined with the easy bar preacher curl, the reverse curl on the preacher bench was practiced by Larry Scott as well as different triceps extensions and presses and of course the results of his arm development are hard to argue with. It is no wonder that many bodybuilders saw Larry's development and also followed suit and equally developed impressive arm development such as bodybuilders like Freddie Ortiz and Arnold Schwarzenegger etc. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video on the history and practice of the easy curl bar for arm development. And if you like the video, please give the video a like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet. I know I personally have used old school bodybuilding methods to recover from my many crippling injuries. And in particular, when I destroyed the ligaments of my wrist three years ago, practicing arm development with the easy curl bar allowed me to continue working out and eventually strengthen my joints without aggravating the injuries I had in my wrist and elbows. If you have had similar experiences, I would like to hear from you in the comment section. Anyway, that's it from me. This is the golden era bookworm saying bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science, and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince. But to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the classic physique bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Deronda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know I know personally a lot of our bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just the, these three books, as I call it, the classic physique bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the Pro Series of Bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each, so it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaborations, use code GEB20 with nspnutrition.com and vincegeronda.com as well as code bookworm12 at osl.com for a discount at checkout.